Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is back with a product from Endorphi. This time it's the Fluctus 120 PWM ARGB fans, but this time it's the 120 variant. So let's get into the video. RGB fans from Endorphi. These are the Fluctus 120s. Yes, they are the same as the 140s that I've done previously, but these are the one. 20 variant now they have got an argb connector which is three pin with a pigtail as well as a four pin pwm with also a pigtail now in terms of the overall accessories what comes with it it's exactly the same as the 140s comes with a four pin pwm extender cable and then it comes with the four screws and this little sheet by here that tells you how to in actually indicates and it tells you where the three pin as well as the four pin pwm connectors are on your motherboard tells you which headers to go for now in terms of the overall specifications the overall size is 120 by 120 with a 25 millimeter thickness now it terms of the speed it does go down to 250 rpm that's the lowest it goes up uh, it goes down to and then it goes up to 800 uh, 1800 rpm that would be the overall max bearing type it's a fluid dy dynamic bearing the overall connector fan of course it's a four pin pwm with a pigtail as well as a three pin argb male and female fan voltage is 12 volts the overall lds is 5 volts the amperage is for fan peak is 0 0.3 amps and then the led peak is 0 0.3 amps again and then it comes to the overall hours they've rated it for it's a hundred thousand hours with a six-year warranty so let's get these onto an aio and test these out shall we for what aio i will be using for the testing it is the mr360 uh, from inwin very good aio and this is a very easy when it comes to the block and then of course it's just it's just a, a 360 loop so let's get the fans installed shall we and if i uh, just just by like magic installed now Let's get this installed on the in the case and see how they perform, shall we? Okay, so this is the Fluctus 120 PW um, ARGB fans. This is a 50%. I'm going to put the f mic up towards the fans and then pull away. Very quiet at 50%. Same thing, but at 100%. You can hear them at 100%, but they aren't the loudest fans I've ever heard. Okay then, so when it comes to the overall benchmarking, now I do use my normal set run of benchmarks in a Benchmark 23, Blender Pavilion, Blender Classroom, 3D Mark CP test. Now, I've done two different types of tests, one at 50% fan speed and one at 100% fan speed. So you can see that if there's a performance difference or a thermal difference, when it comes to going from 50 to 100 percent so for 50 percent fan speed the cpu during the runs did draw 202 watt but did go down to 176 with a cpu frequency of 4.9 and it did go down to a 4.2 so you are losing a little bit of performance there but for the cinebench r23 run idles 27 with a max of 85 Blender Pavilion, Idols 27 with a max of 84. Blender Classroom, Idols 27 with a max of 82. And 3D Mark CP Testy, Idols of 27 with a max of 76. Now, for the 100% fan speed, 
the 5900X that I am currently using did have PBO enabled and the CPU output at that particular moment did start drawing 205 watts but it did go down to 192 watts with a CPU clock speed of frequency at 4.9 and it went down to a 4.3 so it wasn't as much as a a difference when it came to the overall clocks now for Cinebench R23 idles 26 with a max of 84 blender pavilion idles 26 max 81 blender classroom idles 26 with a max of 81 3d mark cpu test the idles 27 26 sorry with a max of 72 celsius and what i'm going to do right by here is actually compare these Compare these fans with other fans like the Thermorite fans as well as some other fans I've got here which are in the 120 variant. Okay then guys, I'm going to keep the overall ending as short as sweet. The £20 fan, yes the RGB looks good, but there are much better quality fans out there for either the same price or just a little bit more. For instance, the Lightwing fans, you can get a pack of three, the 140s. For 65 pound and i believe i haven't checked the price in but the 120 variant of the light wings are 59 pound the last time i checked but this was a while ago so you could get light wings instead of these and honestly the light wings are going to look much better and they're going to have much better quality not saying that these don't have quality they do they have a very good type bearing the overall fan design is weird with the shark tooth type blades i don't really see the difference but that's really one of them things with fans there's only so much you can really do when it comes to the overall design or unless you're like lee and lee just make little screens on them yeah but other than that look they're good fans but i really don't think the 20 pound asking price is reasonable i honestly think that they're going to struggle to sell these personally but that's my personal opinion whether you agree with that, that is completely up to you. I am not going to tell you to buy them or not to buy them. Because at the end of the day, I'm just here to give you the results, tell you that they're okay fans, but I don't think they're worth the money. Because I think the prices are quite high. Now, if they come down to £12.50 a fan, I think then they would actually have a better foothold here in the UK, even in Europe. For £12.50, I think they would do much better. But that's my personal opinion. So, yeah. Look, make sure you subscribe because I've got loads of stuff coming. I'm teaming up with the company. I've got more stuff coming from Thermorite. I've been talking to them a lot more lately. So, I'll be getting more stuff out in for you guys to actually watch. I've got more stuff coming from different brands. ID Cooling, PC Cooler. I've got loads of stuff here. I've got the thermal camera to do. I've got the NAS still to do. I'm trying to wrap up as many reviews as possible at this present moment because I've got things here that are, are that I'm not allowed to speak about that are for release soon. So make sure you subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. This is Richard from Welshy Tech. Good. Bye.